Ahava and blessings. My name is Aria. I am an ordained Magdalene priestess, a Reiki master, energy and sound healer. In this video, I'm going to share with you a very special crystal alchemy singing bowl. And we're going to start learning about the magic of these crystal alchemy bowls. Now, Crystal Tones has these beautiful crystal alchemy singing bowls, and they are very special for a variety of reasons, one of which is their purity, the way that the manufacturing process ensures the highest quality of tone. Is utterly amazing. So this is a C. And the C is a root chakra note. It is nine inches and it is moldavite and platinum. Moldavite is a tektite. It is glass that was formed from the crater of a collision of an asteroid in the Czech Republic. So it is a very rare and precious mineral. It often calls to star seeds and those of us who know very deeply that we we don't come from here. We are not earthlings, even though we are having an earthly incarnation. So this alchemy, while it is very grounding, because a nine inch bowl will be very grounding and centering, the C has to do with your root chakra, with your Malkut, and this has to do with clearing away fear, anxiety, doubts, any programs of scarcity, of lack, any limitations, anywhere we do not feel safe in our body, safe in our incarnation, safe in our expression. The root chakra is basically where your primary needs are formed. So the energetics of the root chakra solidify in from the ages of say about your infancy to maybe about three or four or five years old. So basically it's your formative years. Everything that we learn, everything that we encounter, every experience either solidifies a sense of safety and security in your root chakra with your basic needs, or it doesn't. Some of us were fortunate, some of us not so fortunate. Some of us, we encounter traumas in the root chakra later on in life. There is no right, wrong, there is no blame or shame about it. It just is what we chose to experience in this lifetime. So this crystal alchemy bowl, by incorporating the frequency, the extraterrestrial, the multi-dimensional frequency of Moldavite, it allows us to bridge heaven and earth. It allows us to anchor higher frequencies in our physical body, in our human experience. It allows us to clear and to transmute and alchemize any of those fears, doubts, limiting beliefs, scarcity programs, etc., with the higher frequencies of the Moldavite, of knowing that you are multidimensional. And this is a double alchemy. So this has platinum as well. And platinum is a metal that is associated with the divine feminine. So if you had experiences of not feeling safe with the mother figure, with the feminine, this would support you in healing that, as well as all of those root chakra patterns that I mentioned. And because this is Moldavite and Platinum, this and has to do with the root chakra, this Crystal Alchemy Singing Bowl supports us in clearing away and healing our relationship with the feminine, our relationship with our body, our relationship with our human incarnation, and allows us to bring acceptance, peace, and forgiveness to these parts of ourselves. Because remember, as above, so below, as within, so without. So anywhere that we have unexpressed anger, or 
or we have limiting beliefs or we don't feel whole or we don't feel safe, these are all pointing us to where we need to nourish and nurture ourselves. And since we are in Virgo season, in the cycle, the lunar cycle of Elul, Virgo, now is the time to heal. Now is the time to bring these frequencies of the Moldavite, of the Platinum, of whatever alchemies you may be called for into the root chakra because there's a lot that is happening energetically. There's a lot that needs, that is coming up in the lineage, that is coming up with the feminine, with the mother to be healed, to be activated. My apologies. And because the reason I say healed and activated is because when we heal, we activate. We shed the layers, the, the stuff, the limiting beliefs, the fears, the patterns, the programs that we identify with. If you know someone who um, has an illness, you notice, or overcame an illness, you notice how they identify themselves with that illness. I have MS. I am a survivor of blah, blah, blah. All this identification serves to connect us with whatever it is that we are going through. So if we identify as someone who is anxious, someone who is fear-based, someone who doesn't feel safe, someone who is sick, what we are telling the universe, we are, what we are imprinting in our energetic field because we're energy, we, we're physical, but fundamentally we are energy. What we are imprinting in our energetic field is we are not safe. And so we call in more experiences of not being safe. So if you grew up not feeling safe, not having a solid foundation, which your foundation um, is your formative years, not having a solid safety feeling with your family, these are growing up that way, as I did myself, you will repeat the patterns of your upbringing if you choose to do it, because it's unconscious. And at some point, so let me back up a little bit, it's unconscious. But when we start to become conscious, we get triggered. And then when we get triggered, sometimes, because we're so used to those patterns, we act in the same ways that cement those patterns further or and this may take a little bit of time we start evolving we start pausing before we react and that's really where you will see the most transformation where when you are triggered and this has to do with the root chakra but basically any anything that's going on with the body, anything that's going on emotionally, anything that's going on mentally. When we pause and take a step back and ask ourselves, instead of feeling victimized by the circumstance, we ask ourselves, what is this trying to teach me? How can I transcend and heal what this is showing me? And just breathe into that. And sound is very powerful because what sound does is sound works on a cellular level, on the waters of your physical body because your body is comprised of water. And it starts to recalibrate your energy field, your cells, your DNA even. to clear and show you 
what needs to be healed, what needs to be cleared, what needs to be activated, and to bring it into your space. Oftentimes we think healing has to be a struggle, has to be tough, but that's not always the case. It can be easy. Well, relatively easy. Allowing ourselves to receive. crystal alchemy singing bowls have that effect. They'll play their bass frequency and then they'll play a higher one. I don't know if you heard that. And I'm not playing any other bowls. If you have any questions or if you would like to purchase either this Crystal Alchemy Bowl or get a consultation to get more information about what Crystal Alchemy singing bowls are best for you and what you're working on, feel free to drop me a note or email me. Remember that you don't need to change your Crystal Alchemy Bowls. They evolve with you because these are, because of the combination of precious gemstones, crystals, minerals, metals, and the sacred intention behind these bowls, as well as the notes and the frequencies, this is 432 hertz, they evolve with you. So they can help you work on things that may come up later on that have to do with the heart chakra or the throat chakra even though it's a root chakra, technically bowl. That is the beautiful thing about working with these crystal alchemy bowls. They not only call to you, they meet you where you are, they support you in your evolution, and they grow with you. to say one more thing. If you did grow up in a traumatic childhood, with a traumatic childhood, within a, a, an environment of hostility, of anger, of fights, etc. Drama, drama, drama. What really serves best is to work on balancing your nervous system. Because having grown up like that, I know that when you grow up like that, you're always thinking the world is against you. You're always thinking fight or flight. You, you feel like everything is hard. Everything is a struggle. You know, something is always going to happen. The sh the, you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're in fight or flight emotionally. So what is very important for me and what I teach when I do my energy healings, when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, when I work in groups, is to truly balance your nervous system. You, we need to recalibrate the nervous system so that we're not engaging the parasympathetic system. We're engaging, we're, we're engaging the parasympathetic system, not the sympathetic system. We're not engaging fight or flight. We're engaging that sense of safety, that peace. And if we didn't have that growing up, it is very important to nurture that within because when you can create that sense of safety within then not only will your experience be different but your relationships will be different and that I have firsthand experience with and it's been a wonderful and transformative journey to be able to experience safety to feel loved and secure 
within myself, within my body, and within relationships. So I invite you to take on your next level of healing. And if you have any questions, comment below, share, subscribe, like, all the things, and I will see you in the next video. Ahaba.